All right, guys, so we're back. We're going to be doing a team building guide for Super Vegito. Now, this is my second take on this because the first time OBS decided to crash out on me, so hopefully uh, I can get this done. I need to find a new screen recorder. Something's a little bit better than what I'm currently using. Um, but anyway, so our primary goal right now, let's go talk about the uh, Super Vegito. Leader ability, Majin, Buu Saga category, key plus three, HP attack, or sorry, HP and defense plus 170%, attack plus 130%. Super attack is Spirit Sword Slash. Causes immense damage to the enemy, attack plus 30% for all allies for first turn. So you technically want him to be in the primary slot, uh, the first slot, uh, when you're going up in terms of him being on your team. Passive skill, ultimate power of the Patara, damage receives for normal attacks minus 50%. Counter with tremendous power, attack plus 10% for attack received up to 100%. So while he doesn't have that cool like passive of Super Vegito of having a higher uh, damage reduction, he does actually have an attack increase, uh, so, but the thing that sucks is you have to have him be attacked like 10 times. Newer events are a little bit more viable because they attack so often. Outside of that, uh, him getting attacked is definitely, it's cool because you want him to be attacked, but it's just a pain in the butt to get him attacked 10 times for him to have that awesome out of damage output. Anyway, link skills are super same. Prepared for battle, fused fighter, power bestowed by god, in fighter, golden warrior, and fierce battle. Everything here is awesome. Not so much power bestowed by God, but it's still it's still an attack increase, so can't really uh, complain too much. Majin Buu category lead, uh, he's part of the Majin Buu saga, obviously. <clears throat> he has max stats of HP of 10760, attack of 7 uh, 10728. Damn, I can't speak right now. 10728 and defense of 6085. Uh, overall, pretty damn overall good unit. Really kind of broken. Uh, that 50% uh, debuff to attacks is great, unless you get super attacked, then you're kind of in a bad situation. Never let strength units uh, get that advantage on him. <laughs> anyway, so let's go into Dokkan Battle Builder and talk about it. These are his best linking buddies. So by linking buddies, I mean so the people who link the best with him that are going to have, or at least have him get his most output that you possibly can. Um, <clears throat> in this, we have the three Go Tanks, the two Super Gogetas, and the one Vegito Blue. Obviously, everyone probably knew about Vegito Blue, just because they are both Patara fused warriors, and he is not a Super Saiyan. He's technically a Super Saiyan, but he's a Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, the other two are the Gogetas because they're fused fighters, and the three Go Tanks, which are awesome. Now, first and foremost, before we go, two best uh, so the the best setup obviously for a heroes team is going to be this right over here. Uh, this is what I like uh, personally. What I would do is I would have this Super Vegito over here with this Gotenks, and then I would have this uh, Super Vegito over here, uh, over here with Gogeta. Now, technically, they're both really good. They're both, uh, these two are really good damage dealing. Now, my original thought was having him down here and having Gotenks up here, but then I kind of thought of it. Uh, you want to make sure that this, both of them technically, but you want him, because he's going to have better damage output, to get off those counters. So you're going to want your enemy to be sealed, and having Gotenks on this end, instead of on this end, definitely makes it a lot more viable because he's going to be doing more damage with those counters. So having Gotenks over here with his super attack is definitely pretty awesome. Uh, the other three are good for links if you don't have these three. Uh, I wouldn't recommend having them as for your primary units, though. Don't get me wrong, they are still good units. Uh, but yes, these this is going to be your best day link. Well, at least let's talk about uh, Super Gogeta is going to be... Well, we have to translate to English. <laughs> Yeah, I know Fuse Fighter is on there in Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, uh, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So that's all the link skills that you share there with Super Gogeta. With Gotenks, if you choose to link him with him, it's going to be Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Fuse Fighter. And uh, Super Vegito is minus Golden Warrior at Power Bestowed by God. Overall, this is a very godly team, <laughs> no pun intended, just because of how awesome they are, how much damage output, the ceiling, the damage output, the countering, the damage reduction between the two of these, it's just an amazing team. Now on the sides, you're going to want to run someone like Super Vegito, or not Super Vegito, uh, Base Form Vegito, because uh, he does hit off <clears throat> those link skills uh, with these guys for Fuse Fighters, so he's going to make sure he get those, gets those super attacks off. But we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, primary team building for the Super Vegito in terms of Majin Buu category arc. Uh, more our category. Anyway, uh, let's go over here really quick. I just want to give a shout out. So we're going to go over here. The V3 DBZ. That space forward slash cards uh, V3 JPN actually. That DBZ. That space. Anyway, DBZ. That space. Go over here to the website for and go underneath the card section. Once you go over here to the menu, uh, click on the menu, go to Japan, and then go to cards, and you go to categories. 
And once you're over here on categories, the bottom right one, or you can just do translate to English, Magical Boo Hen, that is the Majin Boo arc. <clears throat> that is what these three leaders are. You have the base form of Vegito, I believe this one is the farmable one. And then you have these two, well, they're the same card, but one's Undoka and one's Doka. And this will give you a list of all of the characters in this arc. Now, before we start, I did want to state, um, I did not do any of the Majin Boos. I did not do any of the low, uh, lower tiered characters like the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. I did not use those two. Um, I didn't do all the Majin Boos just because they all link very well together. If you're going to build a Majin Boo team around him, you can do that if you want to. Uh, it's just that he doesn't link well with all the Majin Boos. And then you have a couple other like weird random characters. All the Super Saiyan 2 Gokus are really good to have in here. Um, just the primary one that we're going to be using is the physical one for this uh, team building guide, but they are all pretty damn decent as well, depending on the type of team you're trying to run. Just make sure you look at their passive skills, because they're really, they are all good support. Um, outside of that, oh yeah, Debora is, is there too, but he doesn't really have a good card. Like, this intelligence one is just good for intelligence units, and you don't have too many of them. Uh, for a Boo team, if you are looking for it before we start, Boo Hunt and Intelligence Kid Boo are your best bets. You need key support for those two if you're going to run them. So, uh, that's that. I just want to give you that disclaimer. Shout out to dbz.space. Go ahead, check them out if you're looking for a full list of all the characters. Now, for what I have, let's go ahead and do a nice zoom in right now. Boom, look at that. Zoomed in. There we go. Uh, and I really need to find a different uh, screen recorder because I have to actually do this on the screen. Over. <laughs> um, anyway, so we have the LRs on the left-hand side, which are not all viable. Like, this LR Hercule is not viable. I just figured he's an LR. I'd, I'd mention him, give him a little bit of a shout-out. Definitely don't recommend have, having him here. He doesn't really link well with anyone. He is cool, but he's going to go bye-bye. I just wanted to mention him. Uh, now, this LR Goku, not a lot of you guys are going to have him. He is someone who you could run on this team if you want to. Um, I just want to say that he will be here as well. Probably not one of the better units you can run on here, but he does do catastrophic damage, which means he's going to be doing out-damaging some units if you don't have, like, the 120 lead. Uh, Gotenks over here. Oh, I also forgot to bring in the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, which I'll have to go ahead and do uh, in a minute. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of him. So these are the two that we are concerned with right now. Uh, we have the LR Kid Goten and Trunks, and we have LR Majin Vegeta. If you have either of these two, you would want them on your team. They are very good. <laughs> they don't link that well with the Super Gogeta, or Super Vegito, I'm sorry. But they are good units overall. You would probably want to have them on your team. Um, let's go ahead and get the uh, Technique one over here while I'm uh, doing this video. So on the right-hand side of the screen, you will also see all the support units. Like I typically do, support's always going to be on the right-hand side. Um, the Goku is probably, well, the Gohan is actually going to be the number one support unit, and this Gohan. These two are probably the two support units that I would recommend having just because Gohan is attack and defense plus 35%, and the this Gohan over here, the ultimate Gohan, or the Z-Sword training Gohan, is key plus 3, uh, attack and defense plus 40%. So these two are really good for uh, support units. We also have um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, which I forgot to bring in here, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, which I believe is this one over here, and even if he's not, he will just stay as a placeholder for him. And we have the Super Vegeta, who is also a good support unit, so we can throw him over here as well. So overall, those are some really good units that we can have. Um, oh, I'm sorry, there we go. Um, on your team, on the right-hand side, these are all good support. Uh, on the bottom right, the, the again, this is, I don't think this is the 120 lead, I don't know, I forgot. Uh, but you're definitely going to want to run the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku if you have him as well. He could be a very good unit. He does do some decent links. Let's see. He link. Well, we actually have to translate this thing in English as well. Uh, with Majin and Vegeta, if you want to run them together, it's uh, key plus three for over and a flash, and Super Saiyan, which is attack plus ten percent up. Um, with Super Vegito, he does Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle, twenty-five percent and key plus one. Not the best, but he does do a lot of damage. So you can, yeah, that's definitely him because he has Fierce Battle. Uh, um, actually, no, the other one should have Fierce Battle as well. Hmm. Well, let's let's just do. Oh wait, it's, there we go. This. Wait, you just hold over here and hope this comes up. Yeah, that's definitely him, because that's the other one that I don't have listed out. Um, so he does de decent there. He's definitely going to do some uh, decent damage. Uh, the physical 120 Gotenks is also a good unit to consider when you're trying to run this team over here. Uh, he does... I think he does the same exact link skills. Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, and Fuse Fighter. Oh, he also gives a Fuse Fighter for key plus two. Uh, that makes him a little bit more viable. You also have the Technique Gotenks if you don't have him. Um, 
the physical trunks is someone who is a little bit more viable just because he does attack plus 100% um, when he is launching super attacks. Uh, plus, it links with the Go Tanks really well. Uh, you have the Great Saiyan Man, Gohan, who is a very good hard hitter as well. He links with Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, attack plus 10%, and pre uh, prepared for battle with Shiki plus 2. Any of these Super Saiyan Gotenks is good. As I stated before, I prefer the physical one because he seals, and you're going to want that sealer on your team. Um, so, primary lineup, I would say, would probably be something like this. Uh, if you have these cards, would be a su uh, uh, the Super Vegeta, Majin Vegeta. Uh, the Kid, Goten, and Trunks, uh, if you don't have Majin Vegeta, I guess. I wouldn't want to run a double LR team, plus a lot of you, if you're newer, probably don't have uh, the team cost that could support two LRs. But it's something that you take into consideration. Um, we will use this Vegito, and we're going to use uh, this Goku as a stand-in for the Super Vegito, just because um, we need someone to hold as a stand-in. So Super Vegito over here, and then, honestly, if one of these two, uh, Super uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku would probably be your two primary best bets. I might want to go with the Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks just because he gives key plus uh, two for that fused fighter, which is going to make him super attack a little bit more often. Um, that will help you out a little bit more. If not, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, and if you don't have either of those 120 leads, any of these guys will suffice. Um, the so old school 70% leader is a little bit more viable because you can get him. Uh, easier, I want, I want to say, not the easiest to get, but you, if you bought uh, the red, the, the blue stone, if you bought the blue stone, you were able to get him. Uh, uh, that, if you guys are new, that was a while ago. <laughs> uh, the Super Saiyan Bardock is really good because he does seal. He doesn't, he's not the best, but he does, I think, an attack plus 40% to himself. Um, so any of these three would probably be good subunits to these three. Um, well, really these two, this, and then that's the order that I would go in for who you're going to want to pick. The, one of these two, one of these two, or one of these three, in that order, specifically. And then in this order over here, probably go like this. Yeah, because, oh no, that's not what I want. You're here, you're here. Because, so he's attack and defense plus 35%, plus he has Super Saiyan, so he might be hitting a little bit harder than this Gohan. Uh, but anyway, these two are definitely going to be your primary units you want for support. Um, Gohan again, key plus 3, attack, uh, attack and defense plus 40%. Then we have Vegeta, which is an unbridled attack and defense plus 30% for all allies. Then you have Pan, which I believe is 30% as well, but she has a restrictive of HP is 30% or below. And then this Goku is key plus 2 and attack plus 20% for all allies. So that's the order of support units you would probably want to run on the team. In terms of primary units to run, yeah, you have that over here. And this LR Goten and Trunks, it depends. They don't have the best link skills, they just do, they do hit hard. Um, it's like, it's hard because it's like an LR, LRs do hit hard, but you need to make sure that they get their super attacks off, and even though they are self-reliant because of their passive skill of giving themselves key, it's, it's very difficult to say that they're going to be good units if you're not going to be able to get those supers off. Uh, plus you want to make sure that they get over uh, 18 or more key, so that way they actually do really good damage output. But uh, outside of that, guys, this is a really good team that you have over here. One thing to note, a lot of these units are physical. You can definitely take on intelligence events very easily with this 120-led team just because of that. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult just because uh, the uh, not everyone will link, and the Super Vegito doesn't give physical units buffs, which is unlike the other category leads, but there's really nothing you can do about that. Overall, this is my primary team. Again, so I didn't look at the Reddit either for this. I'm just doing this off who I'm seeing here on DBC or the DokkanBattleBuilder.com. So if you guys have any recommendations for this team, let me know. Now we are going to go ahead and jump into the final mono physical superhero team building. Uh, obviously, this is going to be a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks led team. Everything over here is going to be physical units. As you see over here, this is all of the support units that you would, that you can run. Uh, we're going to throw this one up here just because that's we already talked about him. Uh, on the left-hand side, these guys are going to be your staples. If you have them, run them. Uh, obviously, Super Vegito, um, other Super Vegito, and you're probably going to want those two linked together at all times just because they both counter and they both do damage. Uh, now, I'm not going to tell you that you, you can keep them on opposite turns to make sure damage reduction is happening all the time. Uh, it's really up to you. Now, the reasoning why I like this is because if you have these two, right, uh, they're going to be on. So you're going to have a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks on rotation. 
which kind of sucks, or off rotation, which kind of sucks because you're never going to have him there primarily. But these two do so much damage, and between the damage reduction between the two of them, uh, countering and everything, it's going to make it kind of worth it to have him out. Uh, optimal team setup that I can see uh, would probably be Gotenks over here. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks linked with him. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks on rotation, and then these two cards for their support. Um, that would probably be something that I could, the best that I could see. Now, the reasoning why I say that is because obviously these two go tanks link very well with each other. Um, four key links total, and that is what uh, attack plus ten, attack plus ten, attack plus fifteen, which is a thirty-five percent attack buff and key plus two. So it gives this go tanks a chance to actually get off an eleven key super, depending on if this Gohan's there or not. If this Gohan's here or not, if uh, sorry, if this Gohan is there, you're not getting it off because it's very freaking difficult. To get that all well it's, it's impossible because you're going to have key plus six key plus two which is key plus eight than this which is a key plus 11 so you only need one key orb to get them up to 12. no maximum damage but when this gohan's on rotation you can and when you have the other go tanks on rotation you can this guy seals he seals that means the next round they everyone will be sealed your enemy on your dokon boss whatever the heck you're going up against will be sealed these guys will always counter they will do always do that damage reduction. that's why i think it's an optimal team you could also, for instance, throw this Bardock on there instead of one of these two for rotation. That way, every third turn, you will have a double seal, which makes it awesome. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do that. Or you could throw him in place of this Gotenks if that go if you don't have that Gotenks. Um, outside of that, these are all subunits that you could put in here. Um, LR Trunks is awesome. He's good to have. He's a hard-hitting unit. But in terms of uh, uh, tactics, I still go with my first recommendation. Uh, if you're not, you just want to have really cool cards that you'd like, then you can throw him on here. Uh, think, uh, who's a good linking buddy for him? I guess really all the only two, well, I guess this uh, Gohan over here would be a good linking buddy. Uh, so you could have them over here. Or if you don't have, like, this Vegito, uh, you could have these two linked together, and then Vegito and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. That would be a good setup as well. There's a lot of options for a physical hero team, because A, obviously superheroes, uh, Super Saiyans, uh, and there's a lot of good support units depending on what you want to do. I believe this guy gives key plus two plus the attack and defense buff. This guy gives key plus two and this trunks is just a flat out boost. I forgot what it is. I think it's attack and defense plus 30%. Don't quote me on that though. But anyway guys, um, that is what I have to recommend for you. Uh, that is probably one of the best setups you can have between a physical team and a uh, Majin Buu arc story team. And again, heroes, this is probably going to be a good setup. Uh, for support on heroes, there's so many good units. You can go over to uh, the Dokkan Battle Wiki over here, and you could actually just type into the search bar. Uh, sorry, and we'll just type in, it's Raise Attack. Right? And when you go, just go over here, hit Raise Attack, and we'll go ahead and shrink this a little bit. Uh, do my best to shrink this for you. And I know it's a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, so there we go. So we're shrinking this right now, and now we're going to that. So raise attack, and raise attack will tell you everyone who gets good attack buffs uh, with passive increases. So that that's going to definitely help you out when trying to build a team for heroes. Uh, this list is usually kept updated, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, it tells you over here who like what what uh, type is going to get that buff. Um, one thing I did want to say about this physical Gohan, uh, I did forget to mention this on this team building, he is only good for physical units, uh, so this will probably not going to be a primary, you can probably throw him down on the bottom. Um, so for those of you who made it this far, thank you, because I know I'm going to get some comments below telling me that I should probably not have used him in my team build. But because he is, this is going to be primarily uh, physical units, you're probably going to end up using him um, on the team. But anyway guys, Thank you for joining me here today. Um, let me know if I left anything out in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.